We have been on the MSC Divina, we have been on the MSC Meraviglia and today is embarkation day for yes! our cruise on the MSC Seashore. Seashore. All of that and more after this. Hello fellow travelers. Hello. It's Neil here. And I'm Kimberly. And this is To, to Travel and Tour. Tour. Well Kimberly, it looks like uh, this is going to be a bit of a long embarkation day. The I line is it. endless. Yeah, we got Dewey over there holding our spots while uh, we do this. <laughs> I want you to take a look at something that we are standing by the Carnival Sunrise right there. We are nowhere near where we need to be to get on the MSC Seashore. It's that big of a line. I've never yeah. seen a line this big. No, you may be able to see that the line continues way over there. So uh, there will be some waiting involved. So at this point, about an hour has passed since we got in line. And uh, I have a feeling that the real waiting might just be starting right now. Because as you can see, yes, we made it into the terminal now. But now we get to wait in the next line. That is the sign we want to see. Boarding! We're embarking! We are going to embark, yes, but one of the things I would like to note about today's embarkation day on the MSC Seashore is that be prepared, there is a lot of security. Yes, so is. once you get your, um, your room key, be prepared for having to show it several more times at various checkpoints. All in all, um, almost an hour and a half have passed at this point, but look, we are really about to go on board now. So as daunting as it looked outside, it wasn't so bad after all. Ah, this is the good part, Kimberly. I can't wait to see this ship. I've never been on this ship. No. Nope. And MSC ships are so gorgeous. It's they like, are. It's like, I want to cover my eyes and then do this, but then I'm afraid I'll run into people. But that would be a good vlog too. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would be. <laughs> I just can't wait. I can't wait to see the ship. Well, somebody is a little excited. Oh you see those yellow bars out there? Those are speed bumps to prevent Kimberly from walking too fast towards the cruise ship. <laughs> uh, Dewey is not excited at all. No, no, Dewey. no it's, it's only cruise number, what, 784? <laughs> it's time for that countdown. Here we go. Yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. Just a few feet away before the fun begins. After you, Kimberly. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're on board. No, we're not. Yes, we are on board. You're on the ship. That is called on board, Kimberly. This is what I would call the good side of the terminal. So yeah, what we were really wondering when we got on board was we know what the MSC Divina is like. We know what the MSC Meraviglia is like. So was the MSC Seashore going to have that same vibe, that same MSC vibe? Well, Kimberly, does it? Oh my God, it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to see the rest of the ship. I am so excited. Look at this atrium just for starters, guys. The bar out there. This is how we know MSC. Shiny, glitzy, glamorous, and absolutely breathtaking. So good to see those Swarovski crystal staircases again. They are those on the Divina and the Meraviglia too. Well, look at that. Surely our friends Ronnie and Alma from Life is good today with approve of this display. Finding something else you like, Kimberly? This is beautiful. I'm not sure exactly what this is down there. I don't know either, but we'll have to check that out at some point. But this shore is beautiful, look at that. Like I said before, this is how we know MSC. So the MSC Seashore has a New York City theme throughout it, and we uh, quickly run into aspects that show you that that is truly the case. Well, we decided not to waste too much time to get uh, the tradition started on embarkation day because when you go on a cruise, as soon as you get on board, well, Kimberly, what is the first thing you should be doing? Okay, Neil's rule is as soon as you get on board, you have to go to the buffet. That's right, that's exactly right. All right, Kimberly, what is this witchcraft with these elevators? Okay. This is completely new to me. What we do is we pick the destination. 16, car D. Okay. 
Well, that would be this one, elevator D, okay. But normally we would have pressed it three times. That way, we, when it came down, there'd be room for me, you, and Dewey. Well, the elevator is already here. I uh, usually would be pressing a button over there somewhere, but I guess the elevator will just take us up now. Now, when you do one of these elevators, you press a yeah, <laughs> when, you're, when, you do, when you do one of these elevators, you are committed to this destination that you selected in the beginning. If you change your mind, it's going to take a little longer to figure out how to get there. Yeah, because sure. you, know, you got to get off where it's, you said you were going to, because it's not going to stop anywhere. It's your own little direct flight. Well, there it is. First buffet meal on embarkation day on board of the MSC Seashore. So what do you have there, Neil? A little bit of a lot, really. I got the paella over here. There are some potatoes over here. Then there is stewed peppers and olives. Um, then also beef, I believe it was. This would be Italian sausage. This was like, I think they called it Chicago round this week. Let's have a piece of that. What's the little pocket? Pocket? This. That's just a piece of bread. Oh! It looks like it was filled with something. Like a little empanada or something. No, that's just a piece of bread. You may wonder, what is the mustard drill like on the MSC Seashore? Well, let us tell you. The first thing that happens is that uh, you, there will be an announcement in which you will be told to proceed to your stateroom. Once that is done, you will be required to watch a video on your screen in your stateroom. At a certain time. At a certain time, that is right. And then you will receive instructions, also per announcement, to dial a number on the phone in your stateroom. To confirm that you've watched it. Yes, that's exactly right. As soon as that is done, um, they divided us up, the, well, us being everyone on the ship Passengers. basically as a passenger, that's right, in two groups. And there was an announcement, okay, group one, go down, go to your master station. The master station that you are assigned can be found on the back of your stateroom door. Or on your card. Or on your, uh, yeah, on your room key, basically. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, so as soon as you hear that announcement, you simply proceed to your master station. And once that is done, uh, you will just be told, okay, this is where it is. Yeah, they scan your um, room key yep. so that they know you were there. And that's that. After the master drill, it was time very quickly for the sail away. If, uh, all kinds of things going on. As you can see, the outside decks are uh, pretty crowded. Lots of people attending the sail away party here on the MSC Seashore. Music going strong. And in the background, we have Miami slowly but surely disappearing. I highly recommend going to an upper deck of the MSC Seashore when you are sailing away from the port of Miami because that will uh, enable you to witness things like these. Look at that beach over here, for instance. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, Kimberly, first impression about the MSC Seashore. Okay, the ship is beautiful, but so far it has been, let's just say, a little harder to navigate than expected. It is laid out completely different than any ship that I've seen. So it's going to take a little bit to get acclimated to where to go and where everything is because there's so much on this ship. It is really a lot. Embarkation day is always so exciting and we've had an absolutely wonderful embarkation here on the MSC Seashore. And if you're interested about more videos about the MSC Seashore, you're going to want to check out our playlist. Exactly right. So we will see you on the next cruise walk.